Hello, so in this video I want to show you about controlling multiple servo using PCA9685 and I'm using Raspberry Pi B Plus and for the software I'm using WebIO Pi and then PGPIO and the library from Adafruit that created by Mr. Tony Decola Thank you very much to Mr. Tony because I can use your your library in pretty easy. I'm using Python 2.72 control my robots and some HTML scripts to make a um, user interface using my browser. And uh, about the servo, this is the biggest one. I'm using Tower Pro MG 969R and it has different in yeah, voltage for in a back arm i'm using um sassis from me arm and one two three four four servo it is good enough to using all of this stuff if you want to make similar project like me uh, for your information this all of this is working with raspberry pi b and raspberry pi b plus but i have tried to use my raspberry pi 3 and it is working good just need some tricks to to install web iopi because raspberry pi b b plus and raspberry pi 3 has some different in hardware architecture so it can work good in Raspberry Pi 3 and for your information I don't make any tutorial in this video but if you want to start create similar project you can send me some email and I will try to reply to you as soon as possible because I have a lot of things to do right now a little bit busy and then let's try to look the hardware this is the PCA9685 that I'm using it has 16 pin as you can see the yellow is the PWM and then the V plus is for uh, powering the servo and the ground is should be connected to um, ground in the servo so I can use all of this channel with easy if you want to to make some spider robot um, you can use this kind of servo control to so this is the servo that I'm using I'm using MG90S uh, three units I'm using in the back arm and then one unit I'm sorry two units is Tower Pro SG90S and then this is the Raspberry Pi that I'm use uh, the servo control itself only needs uh, four pin from GPIO in the Raspberry Pi that is voltage which is 3.3 uh, volt or we can use 5 volt and then SDA and SGL to connect to the I2C and then the last is the ground pin alright first I should to connect to my Pi using circle shell I connected my Raspberry Pi to my Mac using um, RG45 cable or local area network cable and I should to ping this IP address to make sure which is owned by my Raspberry Pi but um that's it or I will do some sugar cell to my Raspberry Pi so I can go inside the Raspberry Pi terminal. Alright, as you can see, there is other fruit PCA 
uh, directory and I will go into the directory and example directory uh, if you install the the library you will you will find this directory directory too but there is no smooth.py because that is made by me and then the index.html and this is the python script in smooth.py as you can see there is the uh, info Im I'm sorry from future info import division I have tried to put that line in a second line or third line but is it is always gives me some error so I decide to put it in the first line of my script there and it is working good and that is the this line is to control uh, the servo as you can see they are different in a uh, first number because that is a channel to control the servo in the servo controller I'm using 0 until 5 channel and now I will start the python script using web iopy so can you see that I can control all of my servo using the user interface that I have made I can connect it in local network or in uh, via internet using NGROX devices and let's try to turn on this thing and for information too I have a problem with power supply when control all of this servo I have tried it using ultra fire battery that have um, 1 1.9 volt DC and 100 I'm sorry 1500 1, um, milliampere so it can work good but it is really limited in time because the current is not enough to to move all of the servo so one day I will use my motorcycle accumulator who have uh, 3 amperes so so it can power all of the servo with with good So the idea behind this project is I want to to make a robot that can help us in many activity and then I have tried to install Jasper as a voice command in my Raspberry Pi that's why I'm using Jasper to log into my user interface but I have uh, some problem with Jasper because I should to to write a lot of script to use it so I decide to use Alexa and then it is always crash when I ask him for a weather so I have tried to install Google Assistant SDK in my Raspberry Pi and that is work perfectly so I will try to combine um, Google Assistant and then open CV and then this hard this hardware in in one robot so maybe I will upload it later but that is the goal of my project and that's it I will try to make some tutorials so you can make a similar project like this if you if you have a question just ask me um, I'm so sorry for my my bad English I'm trying to to improve it and I'm just trying to share to to all of you about servo controlling that's it thank you very much and um, Rosalie Presley don't forget to give me a like and subscribe bye